what is up folks welcome back to the show uh welcome back to lake dunlap i uh got an unexpected day off uh, so i just figured i'd come out here and fool around a little bit oh look that's a snake i wonder if that's a live snake or a dead snake i'm betting it's a dead snake that would be a dead snake he must have i don't know what i hear Somebody, oh, somebody, somebody hooked it. Oh, no. That snake was eating that fish. It was eating the fish. I wonder if it got hooked. It was eating that fish, and I bet it got the hook in it. Holy cow. How weird is that? Okay, we don't see that every day. Looks like this fish head had a hook in it. And this guy came up there to eat the fish and got the hook in him and got stuck. No. Okay. Anywho, I'm back on Lake Dunlap. The water is up. I wanted to do a little update on it. It's been filling it up for several weeks now and uh, the water is obviously a lot higher than it was before, but it is full, absolutely full of bait fish in here like little minnows they are i don't know if y'all can see this first or not but if you can you'll see i mean they are everywhere there's a bunch right over here i mean just hundreds and hundreds of these guys everywhere which is pretty cool to see because uh <clears throat> no that's just gonna feed the other fish so So I did bring a couple poles with me. I'm, I'm gonna do some light tackle fishing, just hit some docks and some brush piles and stuff. See if I can pick up maybe some bluegill or a cichlid uh, and or maybe small bass. But more than anything, I just wanna get out here and check it out and see how far it's come up from uh, where it was to begin with. There's a pleco that somebody put to rest. So uh, anyhow, I'm gonna get y'all on my head and we're gonna go exploring stay tuned i'm gonna start in on these little weed beds right here i'm seeing stuff pop around them oh oh that was something bigger right there pink might not be the color for here worked in the game pretty good And there's just, just bait fish everywhere. Like the amount of bait fish in here is just, it's crazy. Ooh. Nice bluegill. Nice bluegill right here. Oh, there he is. There he was. He was the one I saw. All right. Okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. He was the one I saw come out. There's a tilapia way down there. 
There's no way I'll make that shot. But there, you know, I'm going to try. <laughs> that might be the best shot I've ever made with this bow. I mean, he's in the weeds. Hope I get him. Holy cow, what is over there? I don't know, but I need to be over there with it. That might be the best shot I have ever made with this bow. Oh. Got him. They've got their canal all dug out over here. I was ready for him though. I was ready for him. Never been back here before. I mean, I couldn't get back here previously. Oh man, I wonder if it connects on the other side. I'll be honest with you, I've lived here for over two years. I had no clue these houses were back here just because there's. We did that right there. I don't know. It's because there's no way to see them from where we normally hung out down there. I had no clue these houses were back here. Now you see, it's not going to be very deep in here at all. You'll have a canal and then it'll just be up to the top where those trees are. And then to these docks over here. So there'll still be areas to hopefully bow fish and stuff like that where it's not too deep. I think we're going to bottom out again. It's going to be close. Feel like I'm back in the marshes in Houston. I know what I'm going to do is I'm not going to fish any of this yet. I'm going to go all the way up as far as I can go and then just drift back down and fish a bunch of stuff along the way. That way I don't get caught up in fishing too much and I can actually go see the rest of this stuff and show it to y'all. But like I said, everything here, pretty much status quo the way it always, I mean, it's looked like this ever since I've been fishing it, just maybe a foot lower. Looks like this canal's got water in it too. See if it goes all the way around like the other one did. Apparently these canals have names. I saw on a Facebook uh, post they said the name of the canal. I, I did not know these were named. So I don't know which one this was and I don't know what the other one was. Getting a little thinner. Alright, here we 
we go. We're coming through. I swear it's going to get tricky right here. There's fish back in here, though. This looks like uh, Florida. This would felt like fishing some of them lakes and stuff back in Florida. Real tannicky water. Shoo we. gonna wade the rest of this I think I don't know what these damn things are but man there's a lot of them <laughs> Just stepped on a fish. Sorry about that, little buddy. I've made it do worse. <clears throat> Just gotta dig down deep and push. There we go. And not leave your paddle. <sighs> I got a whole tree under me here. Gee whiz. Well, there's that. We are almost to our destination. We gotta go check out this canal too. When I first moved here two plus years ago, this had a bunch of water in it and it was full of fish big bass and tilapia would just there were just tons of them in there and the water coming down this chute used to be so because it was so shallow uh there's no way i could have done this no way I'm gonna go check out this other canal if I can. I brought the bow just in case. So I'll have to pull up uh, or put a clip in here of like what this used to look like because it did not look like this. It used to be a lot more shallow, huge boulders, white water coming down through here. Okay, we're getting ready to make our attempt at getting across. I'm gonna basically Take my paddle, hop in, and just shoot nose first for that other side. And the current's gonna grab me and drag me, but I'm hoping I can get over there and get across before it does too much damage. But I gotta watch out, because if I hit that log, I'm screwed.
Okay, not gonna do it that way. Try it this way. If I can go behind the log. It looks like it dies down some here. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Behind the log it is. Okay. And this is where we're going. There they are. They're under that. That second thing of lily pads. Bunch of them. Here. I mean, it's still, the current is still really moving, but uh, not like it was previously. So this might be, I mean, at this point now, I could tie a rope to my kayak and get out and just go on the outskirts or whatever and probably drag up and then fish the rest of this going toward, I'm gonna fish, going towards 35. But uh, for now, we're gonna go check out this other canal over here if I don't bust my butt trying to get over there all this water feels so good all right y'all right, we've covered a good stretch of the river that I fish a whole lot and uh, so I'm actually gonna do some fishing right now and just uh, I'm gonna start I just waited up here uh, towards all that swift water I'm just gonna see if I can't find a few eddies and flick this little minnow looking thing in there there's got to be something in here but it looks too good told you I knew there was one under there or behind there no way there wasn't. Now guys, we're probably not gonna catch giant fish today, but even doing that on light tackle, still a lot of fun. Especially when you're out here and you're picking holes out where you think they are. Ton of fun, ton of fun. Ah, he was right there. Nice bass. There could be something right behind this rock. Sure was. Hey, little buddy. Yeah, just a little guy. Oh, I had him. Just for a second. There he is. Look at this. This might be the tiniest smallmouth bass I've ever caught in my life. And one of the feistiest. I can't believe there's nothing in here. Oh, there we go. That's a little bit better one. Oh, oh, don't do it. Hung up in that rope or whatever that is. 
Small mouth. What is this? Is this a rope in here? Ain't that wonderful? All right, I'm gonna get all this back in the kayak and get my bait free, and then we're gonna start floating back. Yeah, we are on the big float back. I'm just trying to stay going slow enough that I can actually fish. Just coming out of all that current though, so. It's gonna be a little more difficult. Oh, 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 he let go. Oh. He thumped it too. I need to get back up to this bush. A red ant on me. I hate red ants. There we go. Oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. This is a gooder one. That's a meal right there, son. <whistles> Look at this guy. That's a that's a ham sandwich. That is a nice bluegill. All uh, right, we got the old Mr. Crappie out here with the little got the little cream swirl tail on it. One sixty-fourth ounce jig head. But I think this is a good little spot because the current kind of comes here and it's kind of steel over there. I'm hoping be four or five in here. Oh. Like that. What you got? What you got? It's another good one. That's another good one, y'all. Man, I found the promised land. See, I heard another one. Oh, it's right here. All right. Get up around this corner, maybe. Oh, turn, baby, turn. I'm right in this current. He's right up here. I just need to run it along these weeds. Got him on the little uh, Guggen jerk bait. Look how dark he is. Pretty guy. I love smallmouth bass. You are not what I'm looking for. That's okay. That's all right. Can we get into some stuff here? Pumpkin seed. Oh no, it ain't. I thought it was. 
I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Got this monster right here. That is a pumpkin seed. Now that's a pumpkin seed. That other one was not. All right, bud. I used to pull bluegill off these docks all the time. This is different. I don't know if maybe it's because the water on the brush piles is opening up all this new stuff. Hmm. There's a little hit. There he is. Little one. Little guy. Nothing like them big ones we had fishing those brush piles. I'm not fun. All right, folks, I am back at the house. It is dark, as you can tell. Moon's out, there she is right there. Just got done cleaning up all those fish, two tilapia, two big sunfish, and uh, I'm shot, I'm wore out. So I think I'm gonna take it in here and get some shut eye. So, I appreciate y'all watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you haven't already, please hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Come along with me as I go on more of these adventures. I'm definitely going to be going back out on the lake a couple more times as it fills up and kind of do updates uh, to the lake level as it goes. From last I heard, it's still got like six feet to go. So it uh, be interesting to see what happens. It was really cool to see the water coming up and all of those uh, bait fish and juvenile fish that are taking advantage of all the extra cover of the, the grass and bushes that's now in the water so that was really neat to see just schools and schools of bait fish just life everywhere in there so anyway y'all take care god bless have a good night and uh, we'll catch y'all on the next one bye